Okay, so we're just going to do a couple of examples finding derivatives of logarithms, logarithmic functions. So you need these rules to find these derivatives. The first one is the derivative of a log of any base a of u, where u is an expression of x. This is equal to 1 over ln of the base of the log a times u prime over u. If the log has a base of e, which we represent as ln, the natural log, then it simplifies your derivative to just u prime over u. So these are the rules that we're going to use to find these first derivatives, okay? We're just going to do first derivatives. So let's say that I have log of base 5 of 2x to the third. So if I'm comparing this function to what I have written over here, then the base of this log is 5, so that's my a, and the u, the function attached to the log, is the 2x to the third. Okay, so we're just going to find the derivative. So the first derivative, y prime, is equal to 1 over ln of a, that's an ln, <laughs> y prime is equal to 1 over ln of a, which we said was 5, times u prime over u, and the derivative of 2x to the third is 6x squared, divided by u to x to the third. And then of course we have to simplify if we can. And we can because the six and the two will cancel, become a three. And then I have an extra x on the bottom, they'll cancel, two of them will cancel, and I'll have an extra x on the bottom, which means I can actually multiply these two fractions. One times three is three on top, and then ln of five times x we represent as x ln of 5. And this is my final derivative simplified for this guy. So it's 1 over ln of the base and then derivative of this divided by itself. Okay, this is when the log has a base other than e. If the log is the natural log, ln of x squared minus 2x plus 3, then the derivative becomes just, this is my u, u prime over u. So what's the derivative of this function? 2x minus 2 divided by itself x squared minus 2x plus 3. Done. If I can factor and things will cancel then I will but in this case nothing's going to cancel if I factor so I'm good. So let's do a more complicated derivative. y is equal to ln of x plus 3 squared over x plus 4 to the fourth, okay? ln of this whole thing. Now, what makes this difficult is the fact that you're going to take the derivative of this divided by itself. And if I wanted to derive this as is, it would be a quotient rule with chain rules involved, and that's a lot of work. So what we're going to do is we're going to, before we even find the first derivative, so I'm just going to stay with y. I'm going to use the properties of logs to simplify this and break it up. I'm going to expand it first using the properties of logs, and you'll see that my derivative will become a little bit easier. So if I have a log of a quotient, then I separate that into the difference of two separate logs. This is the quotient property of logs. And I'm still simplifying. What happens when I have a, um, an exponent that exponent can come to the front, and this is going to simplify into 2 times ln of x plus 3 minus, in this case, the 4 will come to the front, 4 times ln of x plus 4. So this is still just y. This is not my first derivative yet, and the reason that I did this was to simplify my derivative, which now my derivative will become a lot easier. 2 is going to stay here times the derivative of this ln of x plus 3. And the derivative of a natural log is u prime over u. So I need the derivative of x plus 3, which is 1, divided by itself. So this is the derivative of just the first term, minus 4, times the derivative of this natural log, which is u prime over u. Derivative of x plus 4, which is 1, divided by x plus 4. And then the only thing that I need to do, this is 2 over 1, so that 2 can go in the numerator over x plus 3 minus that 4 is going to go in the numerator over x plus 4. I cannot cancel these 4s because this is a sum on the bottom. If I want to leave it as separate fractions, I'm done. 
If I want to bring it together, I need a common denominator, but most of the time we can leave it like this, no problem. Okay, so this is my first derivative of a natural log, but I'm using the properties of logs to simplify it before I actually find the derivative. Now let me just do something like this, right, which hopefully we recognize is a product rule, first term times the second term. Okay, so this is a product rule including a basic derivative and then a derivative of a log of base what? What's the base of this log? Well, if there's no base written, then automatically it's base 10. It's called the common log. If there's no base written on a, on a logarithm and it's not ln, then the base is automatically base 10. So, product rule. First times the derivative of the second. Now this is base 10, so the a, if I'm comparing it to what I wrote here, the a is 10 and the u is the expression attached to it, the u is the 3x. So I have 1 over ln of the base times u prime, which is 3, divided by u. So 1 over the ba ln of the base times u prime over u. And this is a product rule, so the first times the derivative of the second plus the second, which is just log of 3x, times the derivative of the first, which is a basic rule, 2x. If I can, I'm going to simplify, which it looks like I can. So here, I'll bring this all together so it becomes a little bit easier, but these threes can go away. x squared over 1, so this is going to put an x squared on top, and this is going to bring this x times ln of 10 on the bottom. Right, the threes will go, plus this 2x is just going to go in front of the log, so we can represent it in the proper form. I have one more thing that I can do. This is an x squared divided by an x. I can cancel one of those, and it's top heavy, so that extra one stays on top. So this becomes x over ln of 10, plus 2x times log of 3x, and this is my final first derivative. Okay, be careful with the logs because where the exponents are located, where the quotient is located, sometimes we use properties of logs to expand to simplify a derivative. Depending on where the um, exponent is though, like for example if the 3 is on here, this 3 is not going to come to the front. Okay, Just be careful when you're dealing with logarithmic functions.